interesting that since COVID, 25% increase in anxiety and depression worldwide, okay? And that's something that is significant. And that's for, the message here is obviously a lot of people are dealing with it. People for the first time are dealing with it and never ever understood what they're dealing with. I know when I, I suffer with anxiety, I shared with this five years ago in the all staff meeting and I'll, I'll share it again. I had a horrible car accident. It resulted in someone passing away. It affected me and I didn't realize it was affecting me until my wife sat there and told me, you're not okay. I think you need to talk to somebody. The moment I did that, it was a game changer. Have I still had to deal with it for the last five years? Absolutely. But I've learned how to manage it. I've known the symptoms when that's coming across and I can work around it and I know different things I can do to help me manage it. People out there who experience it for the first time, it's scary as crap. It is something that you have no idea what's happening to you. You don't know why you're feeling this way. Why is your heart rate going faster? Why are you sweating? Why are you feeling anxious for no reason? There is a reason and you're not alone. So some things that you can do to keep and help you uh, cope with these things. Here are 11 tips real quick. Keep physically active. That is a huge thing. Even if it's just 10 or five minutes a day, even if you can only walk around your living room and do that or go outside and, and walk your dog for five minutes. It doesn't matter how long, it, every little bit helps. Avoid alcohol and recreational drugs if you're dealing with anxiety and depression. It will only make it worse. Quit smoking or cut back on drinking caffeinated beverages. That's gonna help as well. Use stress management. Make sure you sleep. We all know the value of sleep. We can't underestimate the value of sleep. Make sure you get a good night's sleep consistently. Eat healthy foods. Learn about your disorder. Do some research. Identify triggers. Keeping a journal is also helpful. And then socializing. A lot of people that suffer avoid socializing. Their friends are like, let's go out, let's go out. And they're like, no, you know what? Yeah, I'll go out, I'll go out. And last minute, they cancel. If you have a friend that cancels last minute on a regular basis for social events, they might be struggling. They might need that extra help. And bringing them out to socialize is going to help their mental wellness. The last thing I want to say is, here's a last tip I want to say. If you're going through it currently, if you're feeling like I'm sweating, I'm anxious right now, I don't know why, physical exercise, doing meditation, and spiritual. Those three things are all going to help. So I'll stop there. I want to share that. We'll send out more information, but I hope everyone takes it seriously. If anyone out there is struggling and has questions, reach out to those of us that have shared what, that we've gone through it or call our EAP line or reach out to a professional. Thank you. And I hope everyone stays safe and take care of yourself and make it a priority. Don't make it something that you hold off on.